Shalom. First and foremost, before I begin this video, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, Raha Bukhakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. They continue to move very well. Shalom to the Hofi elect that is also uh, pushing his word, this, uh, spreading his ministry and his gospel to other members of the Hofi elect and faith, truth, and sincerity in all charity. Now, um, just to go into a quick video, man. Uh, one of the I came in my camp uh, sent me a video uh, concerning um, this uh, new device that uh, Esau, which Esau is the so-called white man, that's the straw true biblical nationality. He has uh, now he's devised a way to uh, commit crimes under the the guise of a so-called Negro or in the so-called Hispanic. And, you know, and this just goes to show you the lengths that Esau, the so-called white man, would go to accuse our people and to build up a case to uh, have our people uh, locked up to be put through the system. You know, and uh, by the way, the word system Going to the etymology of the word system, it means a pit. All right. And see, Esau, uh, is, you know, Esau has, has now, well, you know, what we what we like to call, you know, Esau is uh, reaching now, man. You know, he's really reaching to uh, have our people ultimately put into the concentration camps because we're coming to the time of uh, martial law. In which Esau is about to come down hard on our people. And now Esau is devising, you know, different ways to um, have our people put into the concentration camps and to have them locked up. But also, too, this just reveals more and more that this so-called white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. Esau or Edom. Okay? And Esau... Which is synonymous with Edom, the nation of Edom, is going to is going to go down. His kingdom is going to be destroyed, and he's going to go into slavery under the captivity of the so-called Negro Hispanics and Native Americans, which makes up the nation of Israel. For and one of the reasons why is because this right here, man, you know, he's uh, consistently accused our people. You know, for the things that we do, but yet here it is today. The society is set up to where you have no choice but to go off. And what I mean by that is um the words of Yahweh Bashim Shai, in other words, the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father Yahweh, which that's his true name in ancient Hebrew, and his son's name Yahweh Shai. The things that he set up from the beginning, you know, you can't even keep his ways one hundred percent. Because it's this current kingdom and this system that's set up. And Esau is, is the one, the so-called white man is the one that's put us, put us in this situation to where no matter what you do, you're going off. No matter how you look at it. All right. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the scriptures because... The scriptures speak about Esau or Edom, the so-called white man, consistently being a, an accuser of our people. All right, because uh, the so-called white man, of course, he has uh, his own counsel or his own um, priesthood, if you want to use that term, to complain to the Heavenly Father that what, what we're doing, that his people, the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, are uh, transgressing his ways but yet even though they do that they put themselves in the quagmire because they have a sect of their nation the nation of Edom which are Amalekites which are going around today calling themselves Jews so why would they accuse our people towards the Heavenly, Heavenly Father about what we're doing but yet they call themselves the people of the Lord 
You see, that's the quagmire that the so-called white man has put himself into. All right. Saying that they complain about what we're doing, but yet here it is. You know, they do things twice as as horrible and abominable that our people do. But yet they accuse us of, of the, the wrong of our wrongdoings. And we always bring out this uh, this notion that even though, you know, if you want to open up, uh, you want to have some sort of credit history. Right. Or you, or you have if you have some sort of history, you know, uh, or on your background. Because that's one thing Esau will always check your background You know what, you, what you've been doing over the years You know whether you have a clean Background and If it's it is any spotted Or any way you know for lack of a better term If that's anything that you did In your past They'll, they'll, look, they'll look at that and um, Count that against you but yet here it is The so called white man can't own up To what, he, what he's done alright And like I just showed you Earlier with this picture alright about this Uh now they they can go around now, now they have a, a device now to where they can go around and commit acts as our people but yet the Lord is seeing that man all right and he's taking account of it and he's gonna judge him for it man all right and and we always say this over and over again man the situation that that this place is in right now is getting worse and worse okay now verbal this is uh, the book of revelations the 12th chapter in the uh, 10th verse it says and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven now has come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our power which once again is Yahweh why Yahweh Shai it says in the power of his anointed which uh, is Yahweh Shai that's, that's Hamashiach which uh, that's how you say Christ in the Hebrew which means anointed it says for the accuser of our brethren is cast down see the accuser of our brethren was in, in the, the accuser of our brethren, which our brethren are the Israelites, which once again is the so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And the accuser is the so called white man. All right. Like I mentioned before about pulling up our history, what we've done. And they won't hesitate to lock our people up, man. You know? They can they'll they'll find any and every excuse to have us locked up and in and uh, uh, put us in the in the prison houses. All right. It says for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. All right, and they continually complain about what our people are doing, man. Right, but yeah, here it is today. The so-called white man can do every every act under the sun. They can be pedophiles. They can be homosexuals. They can they can do everything under the sun that's that's wicked. But yet they call us out on it, man. That's why when the time comes when his kingdom is thrown down, he's taken into slavery. We're not going to show him any mercy, you know, because they, hey, because they never show us any mercy. During the time of uh, uh, our captivity, or or when we're downtrodden, they, they haven't shown us any, any uh, mercy, and these other nations haven't shown us any mercy neither. So how how much more when the kingdom is established and, and we're back in rulership? All right. Now I'm gonna grab another priest up, and uh, Jeremiah the fiftieth chapter in the seven verses to the point. It says, uh, "All that found them have devoured them. To my devoured us, our people." And their adversaries, right, which our adversary is a so-called white man, in which if you go into the word uh, Satan, if you can receive it, the word Satan uh, goes into the word uh, adversary. All right. So the so-called white man, which is our adversary, our enemy, said we offend not. See, so they're saying and the things that they do to our people when they devour us and they, they kill our people, you know, they're shooting us down the streets. Uh, they lock our people up. They said, uh, guess what they're saying? They said they don't offend. All right. Why? Because, like it says right here, it said, because they have sinned against Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, the habitation of justice, even the Lord Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, the hope of their fathers. See? So, in them saying that, because we, we've done all these acts 
against our Lord, they say that they don't offend. But yet, here it is. I'm sure they pull up this picture again. But yet, here it is. Uh, they have uh, leeway to disguise themselves as our people and to uh, do these acts and then find a case to, to lock uh, to uh, do whatever they, they, they want to our people under their law and say that they don't offend because we've done that but yet here it is today now they have a, a way to uh, do this under the guise of a so called Negro Hispanic or, or Native American let's show you how much of a hypocrite the so called white man really is man let's show you how much of a hypocrite Esau or Edom is Like I mentioned before, man, he can't own up to his own own wrongdoings, man. But yet he calls somebody else on what they're doing. That's why when the time to come, man, Esau, when 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 these calamities start to start to hit Esau and his kingdom is going down, that's why he's gonna try tooth and nail to keep his kingdom going, man. And then when he's brought before our Lord, and what I mean them, I'm talking about the so-called elites of Esau because they're the ones that run the world. The banking families Once they're brought before our Lord You know they're gonna Try any and every way To weasel their way out of that situation Because they're gonna They're gonna go through Or they're gonna uh, come out of that uh, Of that thermonuclear destruction That's gonna come upon this place Babylon the Great which is America They're gonna make it through it And once everything is said and done Once the smoke clears They're gonna just find every single way That they can to escape the judgment that's set on them, which is slavery, and they won't be able to find it. They won't be able to find any way out. They won't be able to reason with the Lord. They can't reason with the Lord, and they won't be able to escape those chains, man. That's coming for them. All right. So once again, they do these things, and they say they don't offend. Okay. Now I'm gonna grab another precept. Psalms is 64th chapter and the um, start at the second verse it says hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity all right because the insurrection is coming pretty soon man all right if you go into that word insurrection it means a rebellion or a rising up to rise up against something all right and the ones that are, are committing that insurrection is, is the workers of iniquity which once again is the so-called white man Esau now verse 3 says who wet their tongue like, like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows even bitter words alright because their words come in the form of uh, this current law that they have set in place here in this land America which once again is Babylon the Great in the Bible alright that they may shoot in secret at the perfect suddenly it's like uh, suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not all right, because they have no fear in the things that they do. Case in point, what I just the picture that I just showed you. All right, those are one of the devices that they use to shoot in secret at the perfect. All right, because they do that in the hopes that the elect of the nation of Israel get caught up in the mix. But what they don't understand and what they don't know that the Lord Yahweh Bashmiel Shai has a way for the elect to escape. Right, because they're hoping that this will will upset the prophecies, and there's absolutely nothing they can do against prophecy. That's what they're fooled. All right, that's 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 that pride that they have that's uh, deceiving them, thinking that they're able to get away with uh, these the things that they're doing. They're able to upset the prophecies. All right. Now, verse five says they encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privately. They say, who shall see them? And we see them, man. Hey, I mean, case in point, the video that just surfaced, man. Now is it's, it's, it's even re revealing more uh, evils and wickedness that the so-called white man is doing. All right. Verse 6 says, they search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and, and the heart is deep. Verse 7 said, but, and this is the conclusion of the whole matter, all right, but the Most High shall shoot at them with an arrow, 
suddenly shall they be wounded and their arrow is coming in the form of those plagues in which the ultimate plague that's in the final plague that's going to hit the shores of America is going to be the thermonuclear ICBM missiles alright that's going to be the arrow that our Lord is going to use that, actually the scriptures speak about that being the device of the Lord's indignation Actually, let me get that. I'm going to end it off on this precept. Uh, this is Jeremiah, the 51st chapter, and 11th verse. It says, Make bright the arrows, gather the shields. The Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yashah, raise up the spirit of the kings of the Medes, for his device is against Babylon to destroy it. We're just talking about those arrows. All right? Because it is the vengeance of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, the vengeance of his temple. And his temple represents the elect of the nation of Israel that's the temple that the Lord is dealing with that's the temple that's being built right now which that temple is, is synonymous with the house of David that's being rebuilt uh, pursuing on the, the book of Amos where it says the, the house of David would be rebuilt as in the days of old and that house and that temple is being built right now All right, there's no such thing as a physical third temple where it says it's going to be laid down on, the, um, on this land or on the planet earth that third temple is being built now and every brick is being put in, in its proper place which is each member of the elect including the one third so that pretty much wraps up this video and this lesson you know it just goes to show you it's just uh exposing the uh, even more wickedness that the so-called white man which once again is the devil that the bible speaks of and he is known as edom the nation of edom in the bible all right which he is to receive his judgment at the very last last day all right or the last hour should i say because we're in the final stages of his kingdom and we're in the final stages of this uh this time that we're in right now and it's going to be a complete shift when yahweh shah our lord returns on the planet earth to assert his kingdom all right so lord's will are you members of the hopefully let where to find about this video and this lesson and until next time once again uh want to give all praise honor and glory to yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Rahawa Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continue to rule very well. Peace and safety, Shalom to the Hofi Lek that is also planning his work, giving diligence to make your calling election sure. And faith, truth, sincerity.